In the heart of cinematic history, where black and white frames come alive, there exists a treasure trove of moments that transcend time. Imagine, if you will, the year 1948, a year marked not only by its place in history, but also by the enchanting allure of the silver screen. It was amidst this era that the pirate pirouetted its way into the lives of movie agors, leaving an indelible mark that continues to ripple through the tides of memory. Think back to that very first encounter with the flickering images, a mesmerizing dance of light and shadow on the silver screen. Perhaps it was the swashbuckling energy that ignited your imagination, or the chemistry between Gene Kelly and Judy Garland that sparkled like stars on a moonlit sea. Maybe it was a particular sequence, a single scene that etched itself into your consciousness, a daring escapade, a poignant melody, or a whispered promise of hidden treasures. As the reels spun and the story unfolded, did you find yourself caught in a whirlwind of emotions? Did the rhythms of the sea find their echo in your heartbeat, or did the allure of adventure beckon you to distant shores? It's these memories, these vivid recollections of laughter, awe, and resonance that we hold dear, for they remind us of the power of cinema to transport us beyond the realm of the everyday. And now, as we stand on the shores of time, gazing back at that pivotal moment in cinematic history, let us delve into the captivating tapestry of facts that surround the pirate. Let's unearth the anecdotes that illuminate the creative journey, the behind-the-scenes tales that infuse even more magic into the frames that once flickered so captivatingly. So, without further ado, let's set sail into the realm of intriguing trivia, where stories intertwine like the threads of fate, weaving a narrative that continues to captivate generations. All of this brought to you by the magic of the silver screen and the timeless charm of the pirate. And now, with the curtain raised and the stage set, let's embark on this journey through time and creativity. Are you ready to uncover the secrets, the gems, and the whispers of the past that shape our cinematic present? Let's begin this exploration, for the allure of the silver screen knows no bounds. Ahoy, mateys, and let the voyage commence. Gene Kelly's ingenious camera innovation for the pirate in the annals of cinematic history. 1,948 seconds the pirate stands is a testament to not only musical extravagance, but also the innovative spirit that fueled its creation. Amidst the swirling tales of casting changes and budget overruns, one fascinating nugget emerges, Gene Kelly's role in revolutionizing the filmmaking process. At the core of the production lay a technical challenge, capturing the opulent world of the pirate demanded intricate camera work. Yet the bulky Technicolor cameras were notorious for their limitations. Enter Gene Kelly, the multifaceted talent renowned for his dance prowess and creative insight. Kelly, who was set to star in the film, took it upon himself to tackle this obstacle head-on. Drawing from his deep understanding of movement and choreography, Kelly devised a remarkable solution, a device that enabled the Technicolor cameras to achieve dynamic low-angle shots with unparalleled finesse. This innovation not only lent a unique visual dimension to the film, but also showcased Kelly's ingenuity beyond his on-screen persona. Behind the scenes, the production of The Pirate was a roller coaster of shifting casting choices, a testament to Hollywood's ever evolving dynamics. Originally envisioned as a vehicle for the pairing of Greer Garson and Walter Pigeon, the project traversed a labyrinth of potential stars, from Cary Grant and Charles Lafton to Mina Loy and Ingrid Bergman. Yet, Destiny had other plans, eventually steering the film toward its destined musical path. But the challenges didn't cease. Production stretched from February 1947 to December 1947, a prolonged timeline that escalated costs to an alarming extent. While the film's financial losses have been well documented, it was the convergence of production delays and tepid audience response that painted a bleak financial picture. In hindsight, The Pirate remains a dichotomy, a cinematic marvel born from both technical innovation and the turbulence of Hollywood's casting roulette. Amidst the whirlwind, Gene Kelly's ingenious camera device stands as a beacon of creativity, underscoring the lengths to which talents pushed the boundaries of their craft. In a world captivated by the allure of the silver screen, the pirate sails on as a reminder of the collaborative, ever-evolving nature of filmmaking, where the convergence of ingenuity and persistence can birth both masterpieces and cautionary tales. This article is based on information sourced from IMDb. DB, DB. 
IMDb. MGM Chief's Fury ignites bonfire of Garland Kelly chemistry. The voodoo affair of 1,948 seconds the pirate in the annals of Hollywood history. Few tales are as incendiary as the torrid on-screen romance between Judy Garland and Gene Kelly in the 1948 movie musical The Pirate. The scorching chemistry they unleashed during the spellbinding song and dance number voodoo not only set the screen ablaze, but also ignited the wrath of none other than Louis B. Mayer, the formidable head of MGM. Legend has it that Mayer, the studio titan known for his iron grip on film production, was so incensed by the palpable heat between Garland and Kelly that he issued an unprecedented decree. The negatives of the voodoo sequence must be consigned to flames. The explosive connection Garland and Kelly shared, dripping with sultry allure, and uninhibited energy had apparently set off alarm bells for Mayer, who sought to douse the flames of their on-screen chemistry. Garland and Kelly's audacious push against the conventional boundaries of romance on film, as seen in the tempestuous voodoo routine, became both their triumph and their tribulation. It wasn't just a performance, it was a conflagration that dared to challenge the studio's notions of propriety. Their blazing synergy, often celebrated as a cinematic marvel today, had inadvertently incurred the ire of Mayer. Yet, history often finds its own twists. Garland and Kelly's battles didn't end with Mayer's decree. They united to champion another groundbreaking cause for the pirate. A lesser-known skirmish took place behind the scenes, as both stars rallied to include the Nicholas Brothers, the extraordinary African-American tap-dancing duo Fayard and Harold Nicholas, in the film. Their resilience bore fruit, and the Nicholas Brothers' dazzling contribution in the Be a Clown sequence added a layer of transcendent artistry. However, it wasn't all applause and accolades. The sequence, while groundbreaking, faced a bittersweet fate as it was excised by exhibitors in several southern U.S. cities, underscoring the racial tensions of the era. The cutting of the sequence, a stark reminder of the societal divide couldn't fully eclipse the strides Garland and Kelly had made in pushing cinematic boundaries. The Pirate stands as a testament not only to Garland and Kelly's magnetic collaboration, but also to their determination to blaze trails both in storytelling and in challenging cultural norms. Their fiery on-screen romance and their off-screen battles have etched this film into the annals of Hollywood folklore, encapsulating a pivotal moment where passion clashed with power and innovation brushed against convention. As we delve into the history of the pirate, we uncover a tapestry woven with defiance, creativity, and a dance of ideals that echoes through the years. It is the second jewel in the tiara of Garland Kelly Coast eras, leaving an indelible mark on Hollywood's legacy, a legacy defined by more than celluloid. It's a legacy of forging change against the backdrop of an ever-evolving world. In the realm of lights and shadows, where celluloid captures both truth and tail, the legend of Garland and Kelly's tempestuous voodoo romance and their triumph for the Nicholas Brothers endures, resonating in the heart of the pirate. The pirate. The pirate. A dance to remember, the unseen spectacle of the pirates be a clown in the dazzling realm of 1,948 seconds the pirate, where romance and adventure intertwine on the silver screen. A remarkable tale of collaboration and courage unfolded behind the scenes. While this cinematic gem directed by Vincent Minnelli boasts its fair share of charismatic stars, unforgettable melodies, and spirited choreography, it's a particular dance sequence that remains an unsung emblem of both artistic brilliance and the persisting shadows of racial bias. The film's triumphant crescendo, the musical production titled Be a Cloud, was composed by none other than the illustrious Cole Porter. With Gene Kelly's innovative choreography, the sequence brought together dance virtuosos of contrasting backgrounds, epitomizing the magic of cinematic unity. However, it's the Nicholas brothers who take center stage, Fayard and Harold, known for their extraordinary acrobatics and dancing prowess. An unprecedented decision by Kelly to have them join the performance became the heart of the matter. Harold Nicholas' dedication shines as a beacon of commitment during a rehearsal that would mark a turning point. As the story goes, Gene Kelly was taken aback when he believed Harold was merely going through the motions of the routine. A daring challenge ensued. Displaying unwavering determination, Harold not only danced the entire routine alone, but executed it with unparalleled perfection. Kelly's speechlessness spoke volumes, highlighting the depth of talent hidden within the ensemble. Yet, beneath this luminous tale lies a darker truth. 
In the stark display of racial prejudice, MGM, the film studio, would erase this groundbreaking performance from the Southern State's screenings. Fayard and Harold's dance with Kelly and the film's finale would be banished due to the color of their skin. The Northern States, devoid of such bigotry, were the fortunate spectators of the complete end production presentation, witnessing a historic dance partnership. This decision dealt a harsh blow to the Nicholas brothers, prompting them to venture to Europe to seek more equitable opportunities. Their return in the mid-60s marked a revival, symbolizing resilience in the face of adversity. It was on the Hollywood Palace in 1964 that they re-emerged, sharing their boundless talent once again with a world that was finally ready to embrace it without prejudice. The Pirate, a film that sailed through cinematic history with its flamboyant narrative, and effervescent performances is a testament to the power of art to transcend boundaries. Through Be a Clown, the dance sequence that nearly vanished, we're reminded that while progress might be slow, the stage is set for change. The journey of the Nicholas Brothers stands as a reminder that talent knows no color, and their indomitable spirit echoes through the annals of film history. In the tapestry of the pirate, where Makoko once stood, the vivacity of dance and the valor of two brothers emerged as stars in their own right. The tale of Be a Clown encapsulates not only the essence of the film, but also the untold stories that resonate behind every frame, every step, and every beat. And so, as we revisit this cinematic jewel, let us not just witness the sparkle on screen, but also recognize the brilliance that was nearly erased. The Nicholas Brothers, along with Gene Kelly, Judy Garland, and the entire cast, remind us that the pursuit of art is a battle against prejudice, a dance that reshapes the world one step at a time, up at a time, up at a time. As the curtains draw to a close on our cinematic journey through the enchanting tale of the pirate, I invite you to take a moment to let the echoes of this timeless masterpiece resonate within your heart. Just as the sea has its tides, this movie has swept through generations, leaving a trail of wonder and emotions in its wake. As you reflect upon the vivacious dance of emotions, the daring escapades, and the romantic undercurrents that intertwined on screen, consider the way these elements have woven themselves into the fabric of your own experiences. Perhaps you felt that same rush of exhilaration that Manuela experienced as she followed the call of the unknown. Maybe the witty exchanges between Seraphine and Manuela left you pondering the intricate dance of attraction and defiance. The pirate is more than just a film. It's a portal to our own yearnings, our own dreams, and our own daring pursuits. It's a canvas upon which we project our desires and fears, our hopes and doubts. Whether you watched it with starry-eyed wonder in a vintage theater, or experienced it for the first time in the comfort of your own home, the movie has left its imprint on your soul. So, dear friend, I urge you to share your unique connection to the pirate. Let the waves of nostalgia and passion guide your words as you recount your cherished memories and insights. Your thoughts are the treasure that enriches the cinematic journey, casting new light on its nuances and inviting others to see it through your eyes. Thank you for allowing the splendor of the pirate to sweep you away on this unforgettable voyage. Your time and interest are truly appreciated, and your reflections will continue to illuminate the legacy of this cinematic gem. Until we embark on our next cinematic exploration together, keep those memories close and let the magic of the silver screen forever inspire you.